Hi there, we're over at the Rockat booth in the business centre and we're with René. He's going to be showing us some revolutionary technology which Rockat are debuting at the show. Uh, here's René to introduce it. Yes, thanks. So uh, basically we're showing a totally new Rocket technology which uh, let you command your PC gaming with your smartphone. Uh, it's called Rocket uh, PowerGrid. It's available for iOS devices for beta test right after CBA and will be available for Android devices and Windows, uh, Windows devices by end of the year. It's a completely free to get going and yeah, there's something, maybe just jump into the technology, maybe just see what, what PowerGrid will change. In cool, yeah, we'll do a live demo, that'll be nice for everyone to see. Perfect. So um, our idea is always how to stay in the game and you know still be connected to real life. Um, keep all information about your system, uh, about people talking to you. Um, you know when you're in a game, in a raid, uh, playing LOL, whatever. People trying to talk to you in the real world on Skype, on Teamspeak, whatever. We wanted to have something like an application running on a smartphone to tell us exactly who's talking to us to give us the power and decision to decide: Do I want to answer? Maybe I don't want to answer. Also filters like this application will show you who's talking. On team speak to you so maybe you don't know which voice related to which character on my screen this application will tell you who's talking to me right now uh, we also have some co sound control things which is also very important maybe you play world of warcraft uh, having skype team speak music world of warcraft running at the same time with this application you will be very easy will be very easy for you uh, to control the different sound level of the different applications so there's no need to go to windows no need to find the mixer, no reason to find the microphone booth to increase microphone speed. You can do this every very easily from your smartphone. But the most uh, impressive thing is building your own grids um, within the Power Grid application. So you can basically for your own game, you can build your own grids while using your own logos, using spell logos, using your favorite uh, things you really need like a volume control for the game. Uh, like um, like macros uh, you want to program, maybe like watches you want to, uh, stop clocks you want to set, all these kind of things will be possible within the Rocket PowerGate application. Okay, so maybe we jump, just jump right into the application to see what's, uh, how fast it is and how responsive it is. Um, what you can see over here is uh, the incoming center. These are all the messages which basically came to me uh, today where people are trying to contact me. I just checked Facebook now, so if you only want to see Facebook or Twitter, it's very easy to, uh, let's say, filter all this kind of information. Let's jump directly into the system starts. What you can see over here is my CPU power. You can see the net usage, the RAM, how many RAM I have, my hard drives. I can even set timers or stopwatches. So if you want to have a pizza in the oven for 15 minutes, you just simply press uh, press press a button for stopwatch, and after 15 minutes, it will tell you, listen, uh, don't forget your pizza. Go to your oven as fast as possible. So sound control is something I spoke about. It's very easy now. This is a sound control that works with your media player. Um, you can like skip a song, you can stop a song, you can um, easily play the song again. But you can also set different kind of so uh, of uh, of sound volumes. You can uh, skip within the song if you want to say, okay, I want to start at six minutes, no problem. You can mute it as a master. You can only mute the music if you want. You see how responsive it is. You can change microphone settings. You can change the volume easily by using this volume knob. But, which is very interesting and very uh, important to gamers is to see all these kind of different um, uh, sound levels. Uh, so if I only want to change my Windows Media sound, I just easily decrease it so it will be only changing my Windows Media sound and if I for example want to hear more from TeamSpeak or from Skype I can change the application sound easily from here to have more volume in terms of Skype. And can we change like the Steam volume for example if we're in game? Yeah so this is the Steam volume it shows exactly what you can see on the mixer over here so just to give you an idea this is Steam so now I will change the Steam volume to and you can see on the monitor, can you see it? It's moving up and down. Yeah, it's moving up and down like I move up and down my, my finger. But most interesting part will be basically uh, to customize these kind of things for your game. Yeah. So we basically did two custom grids. One custom grid is made to start applications and games. Just to give you an example how fast it is, I'm trying to start Word now. I press Word, Word is immediately on the monitor. So there's like no feasible lag. You want to go to YouTube, no problem. Just press the YouTube button and YouTube is loading over here. Uh, if you, for example, um, want to go to Google, no problem, here we go to Google. Uh, if you want to, whatever, Firefox, if you want to see, check your own computer, you see my documents, you can fast and easy open it. But really fun, it will be really fun if you start playing games with it. So um, I will start Skyrim now, um, just to give you an example. Yeah, sure. 
take some time. This is the reason, for example, why not switching out of the game and using the power grid, oh, because yeah. it, it takes so much time sometimes of the application to run. So this is like a demo for, um, for um, Sky, Skyrim. So we did our own custom grid for Skyrim. The custom grid for Skyrim will be um, changing weapons. The custom grid will be go to inventory, see your talent tree. It will show me the clock, so I know what time is it, how much time yeah. am I able to, to, you know, to spend on gaming. <laughs> Sometimes you don't keep watch. Uh, time keep watch by the time. girlfriend, or yeah. something like this. <laughs> you see the CPU on this grid. You can see the RAM, and you also have a volume master. So just to show you, uh, I want to change my sword to a flame. I easily press flame. I want to have it on both hands. Press flame again. I want to have sparkles on the left hand. I want to use a sword instead, so I press sword. I want to heal with my left hand. You see how responsive that is. I want to go to my quest tree. Just press quest, uh, um, quest tree. I want to see my talents. So that's where the talents come up. So you see how responsive the yeah. whole thing is. It's like immediately in time you can see changes on this. So um, in terms of, you know, you were just getting up various spells and, and different actions within Skyrim. Uh, you can get those on the Rockout website, is that right? Um, the um, the, the, the building the grid is open for everybody and we will make something like a rocket grid marketplace where people can basically share whatever grid they do. So if you want to make your own grid, you know, because you have several classes, different classes in these kind of MMORPGs. So if you want to make one for your dro droid, for example, or for your priest, you can make one and you can easily share because sharing is something uh, very, um, very important to us. So if you want to make one for your guild or your clan, you can make one grid and send it to all your clan mates so everybody can use it. Yeah, and so if, you, if you've got a pro gamer that you particularly follow, you can download the, right. the, way, they, yeah. the way they game, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, yeah, that pretty much concludes everything. Uh, as you can see, it is very extensive and obviously uh, available with the Apple phone at the moment. Android's going to be available and uh, Windows Mobile as well. So as soon as that becomes available, we'll have uh, a full look at that and a little article. So I'll see you soon and look out for more videos of CBIT 2012.